हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माय सेल्फ हर्षवर्धन सिंह भाटी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अबाउट फ्रीक्वेंसी काउंटर ट्रेनर किट पैनल वी आर यूजिंग हैज ऑद कोड वन जीरो नाइन वन सिक्स सो हियर दिस इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी काउंटर ट्रेनर किट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइव ब्लॉक्स नेमली एटेन्यूटर सर्किट वेव शेपिंग सर्किट फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवाइडर सर्किट गेट टाइम सर्किट फ्रीक्वेंसी काउंटर एंड डिस्प्ले ड्राइवर सर्किट All these circuits are incorporated in on a single board. The board has inbuilt for DC power supply, so it can be taken as a stand alone unit without any external power supply. Let's move to the experiment one. Study of attenuator circuit. In experiment one, we will require one oscilloscope and a function generator. Now connect BNC to BNC with function generator to trainer kit. Now switch on the function generator and the trainer kit. Connect an oscilloscope on terminal one with respect to ground. Observe the input signal on terminal one. Select state one is to two of toggle switch for attenuation. Toggle switch is here. We have to press like this. Take the input frequency from function generator, which is more than 60 kilohertz, for the select frequency range here, and also set the frequency range on 30 megahertz from switch S2. Testing the output signal, you have to connect the probe of oscilloscope to the terminal 2. With respect to ground, you can see here the output wave. Now let's move to the experiment number two. The objective of experiment number two is study of wave shaping circuit. In this experiment, we will need oscilloscope and function generator and as same connection which was in previous experiment. Select state one is to one of toggle switch for wave shape analysis. Now take input frequency from function generator which more than sixty kilohertz and select thirty megahertz. from switch s2 now for output signal of wave shaping circuit we have to connect the oscillator probe to terminal 3 and we can see the output wave form on oscilloscope now let's move to the experiment number 3 the objective of this experiment is study of frequency divider circuit in this we also need oscilloscope and function generator connections are same as in previous experiment now we observe the input signal on terminal 1 before attenuation this is the waveform now we will connect terminal 12 with terminal 13 with the help of patch cord Now connect the terminal 19 to terminal 23, terminal 20 to terminal 24, terminal 21 to terminal 25, terminal 22 to terminal Now select state one is to one of toggle switch of S one for the study of frequency divider circuit. Select frequency range from S two. First take it below sixty kilohertz. Output signal of frequency counter on terminal four by connecting terminal four to the oscilloscope. You will observe that in output frequency will be five times less than the input signal. It indicates that input frequency is divided by five. Similarly you can take the input frequency more than 60 kilohertz for this select frequency range on 30 megahertz from S2 first test output signal of frequency counter on terminal 4 by connecting terminal 4 to the oscilloscope 
you will observe that the frequency is divided by 5. Now, test the output signal on frequency counter circuit on terminal 5 by connecting terminal 5 to the oscilloscope. You will observe the frequency is divided by 2. Now, test the output signal of frequency counter circuit on terminal 6 by connecting terminal 6 to the oscilloscope. You will observe that frequency is divided by 5. Now, this procedure can be followed for terminal 7, 7, 8, 9 and 10. In this condition, the frequencies will be divided by 2, 5, 2 and 5 correspondingly. Now, let us move to the experiment number 4. The objective of this experiment is to study a frequency counter and display driver circuit. In this experiment, we required one oscilloscope and one function generator. The connections of this circuit are same as we used in our previous experiment. Now, select 1 is to 1 of toggle switch SW for the study of display driver circuit. Take the input frequency more than 60 kilohertz from function generator and select the frequency range on 30 megahertz or from SW2. Frequency counter and display driver circuit take its input from terminal 11. Here you can see the waveform. Connect to terminal 20. Now we can see the waveform on the oscilloscope. These pins carry waves of different frequencies corresponding to the data which is necessary for 7 segment display to show output. If connection of terminal 19, 23 and terminal 20 to terminal 24, terminal 21 to terminal 25, terminal 22 to terminal 26 are altered then display values on 7 segment will change correspondingly. Similarly, you can check the signal at terminal 12, 27, 30, 31, 32 and 33 according to display the data. So, here we conclude our experiment. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.